Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. Helene is now a category one, 978 millibar storm out now into parts of the southeast Gulf of Mexico. And uh, this is the latest 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time update or the 4 p.m. Central Daylight Time update. And Helene still is a category one hurricane at this time and is expected to strengthen by tomorrow morning from the National Hurricane Center to a category two 110 mile per hour storm. And then now as of the uh, latest update here, um, Helene is expected to be a category four 130 mile per hour storm by Thursday evening tomorrow and from the National Hurricane Center it, it is expected to make landfall as a category 4 hurricane in two parts of the panhandle of Florida mainly in two parts of the Big Bend and then starting into the parts of the panhandle of Florida and then it is expected to continue to the north and eventually to the northwest and um, as it gets farther into Georgia, is it, it is expected to be a 80 mile per hour category one hurricane by 6 a.m. Friday, um, Eastern Daylight Time, and then eventually get up into parts of Tennessee and continue throughout Georgia and get finally into a post-tropical cyclone uh, sometime Friday afternoon to evening, and then eventually it will dissipate from there. But as you can see down here in two parts of western Cuba, tropical storm warnings are up and hurricane watches are also up for these areas. And then even into the Yucatan Peninsula here, there's a hurricane warning up here and a tropical storm warning up there. And so now looking more at Florida, the areas in the red here are hurricane warnings. Um, and then an area to the west of that where the landfall will be is in a tropical storm warning. And then the entire Florida Peninsula is either in a tropical storm warning or a hurricane warning. And then these areas closer here, as you can see, are under a hurricane watch. And these areas uh, down to the south of the Florida Peninsula into the Keys are under a tropical storm warning. And on to the uh, east side of Florida, all the way up to the uh, all the way up from the east coast of Florida all the way to the South Carolina North Carolina border and southeast North Carolina here uh, from there all the way to um, all the way to southern Florida is under a tropical storm warning at this time now looking at again the National Hurricane Center as you can see right here this is the 4 p.m. Central Daylight Time update this is the latest update and so again this is a 85 mile per hour category one hurricane and so as you can see as helene moves to the north there is the track right there and the cone of uncertainty there and then also looking here so as you can see starting into the florida keys there are tropical storm warnings up for the entire state of florida not the entire state excuse me most uh basically all of the florida peninsula and then hurricane warnings up for quite a bit of the big bend and panhandle of florida into parts of far southeastern alabama and much of uh, parts of south central to southern georgia is under a hurricane warning right now and then we have tropical storm warnings that extend all the way from florida all the way up into the entire state of georgia as well as uh, South Carolina and parts of Western North Carolina, as well as parts of Eastern Alabama. So here is also the key messages for Hurricane Helene. And again, this is from the 4 p.m. Central Daylight Time update, Wednesday, September 25th, 2024. And so I'm not going to read all of these uh, messages here, but feel free to pause the video and read them. Now looking at peak storm surge forecast. And first we'll start off with parts of the um, farther west into the panhandle of Florida. So this area here, the blue areas are one to three feet of storm surge. The areas of yellow, as you can see right here, are three to five feet. And again, some um, areas of three to five feet of storm surge expected here and farther south into the Florida peninsula. And then going back here, another area here of red that is six to 10 feet of peak storm surge and then a large area of this uh, purple color here and this is 
10 to 15 feet, excuse me, of peak storm surge here, as well as 10 to 15 feet of peak storm surge here, and then a large area into parts of the Big Bend of Florida is under an area that could potentially see 15 to 20 feet of peak storm surge then farther uh, going to the south here into this area here with the red that is 8 to 12 feet farther south again and continuing to the south 5 to 8 feet um, right there and then farther south again 4 to 7 feet there then this yellow area 3 to 5 feet of peak storm surge there into the Florida Keys 1 to 3 feet of storm surge there and then all the way into parts of the northeastern Florida coast, all the way up into parts of South Carolina, could see areas of one to three feet of peak storm surge. And this is again from the latest 4 p.m. Central Daylight Time uh, update. Now looking at rainfall forecast, first looking at the Panhandle of Florida, some areas in the um, lighter red color could see 12 to 16 inches of rain. Here is a spot isolated into the Panhandle of Florida. Around that is a um, orange color that could be eight to that would be eight to twelve inches of rain possible there. And then an even lighter kind of um, dark mustard color is six to eight inches of rain possible. And then around that is a area of yellow that would be four to six inches of rain possible. And then the area of Kind of darker green two to four inches possible there and then the lightest green is one to two inches possible of rain and so as you can see into the florida panhandle um, heavy amounts of rain will fall there large amounts even into georgia eastern alabama even into parts of central and western uh, tennessee and then even into Again, looking into Georgia, into the Western Carolinas, some heavy rainfall expected there, especially into the Southern Appalachians and farther um, kind of up into the Appalachians as well. And just this large area right here of heavy rainfall expected from uh, Wednesday all the way through uh, this coming Saturday. Now looking at the flash flooding potential over the next three days and so we have two areas of pink and that is a high at least 70 percent chance of flash flood guidance being exceeded in these areas one in two parts of south extreme southwestern georgia and two parts of the panhandle of florida and then further to the north there we have an area into northeastern georgia far western south carolina and into parts of southwestern north carolina under a high risk there that is again a 70 percent chance of flash flood guidance being exceeded around that is a red risk which is a moderate a 40 percent chance of flash flood guidance being exceeded all the way from virginia into tennessee north carolina parts of south carolina georgia into florida as well as alabama and then around that is a large slight risk here and that extends all the way from parts of the florida peninsula to the north into many states into the southeast into uh, virginia all the way into parts of the mid to upper south as well in this large area here and another area around that and again that is a 15 percent chance of flash flood guidance being exceeded in that yellow area and then that green area is a five percent at least five percent chance of flash flood guidance being exceeded and that is a large area into parts of the southeast as well as parts of the mid-atlantic and mainly the south uh, south and southeastern united states now finally looking at some of the models and just kind of looking at each model and really looking at where it would be uh, where a landfall would be and so first looking at the 12z uh, GFS here will refresh that again no updates from that but again looking at the 12z GFS that continues to have Hurricane Helene move to the north and eventually make a landfall as around a 957 uh, millibar storm and that would basically be a category 3 hurricane from the GFS but again the National Hurricane Center does expect it to be a category 4 hurricane upon landfall and that will continue the storm all the way into uh, the center of circulation here into Georgia then farther into um, kind of North Carolina and Tennessee 
and eventually get that moving north all the way until Friday and we'll continue that out and eventually dissipate that system farther into the weekend. And now looking at the 12Z European and so this has this system um, strengthening quite a bit from the 12Z European here and that will continue to have uh, Hurricane Helene move to the north and eventually make a landfall into the Big Bend as around maybe a 954 to maybe like 9 around the 956 um, millibar range and so that would make it as a again a category 3 hurricane by this time but again it is expected to be a little stronger and that will continue up into uh, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina into Tennessee and bring widespread impacts uh, really across parts of the western Carolinas into Georgia obviously Florida and continue that up to the north into parts of the um, upper south there and deliver some heavy rain into those areas and then looking at the icon model as well looking at the 18z run here from today the icon continues that to the north as expected and then that eventually makes it as a um, kind of 948 millibar uh, storm so that would be a high-end category 3 hurricane uh, but again and I've said this a lot, but it is expected to be a Category 4 from the National Hurricane Center um, from from them. So I do expect this to be uh, a little underdoing it. But um, now we'll look at the hurricane models. And we'll look at the HWRF to begin with. And so uh, going back here. So on the HWRF, it does have this kind of rapidly strengthening um tonight and then into tomorrow on thursday already by thursday morning tomorrow as it is a 936 millibar storm and so this would be a very bad scenario if this were to happen and we do not want this at all but again it is something worth to look at um and that will continue and make a landfall as a 918 millibar storm from the hwrf and continue that into georgia have some widespread impacts impacts there and some gusty winds there and that will continue up into georgia tennessee and have that low continuing up into eventually kentucky there but i do think this is this model is um maybe overdoing it just a little bit but i do think this system will weaken a lot more um, by the time it gets up farther to the north but again if this were to be this low of a uh, low pressure low millibar here then that would probably happen but again it's just something we really need to monitor and see how this system plays out once it gets further into the gulf how quickly it strengthens that'll be one thing to watch and um, just really really how quickly it strengthens and how quickly it's able to get to land and make a landfall and so now we'll look at the HMON model again looking at Helene here and so going back to about right now um, it really has this quite a bit lower a lower pressure than it really is but it has this continuing into the gulf and again basically rapidly uh, rapidly strengthening and then it will continue up into um, into the big bend and the panhandle of Florida and again there are going to be impacts um, really as early as tomorrow in parts of the uh, western Florida Peninsula and then that will continue to the north and eventually go into uh, Georgia there and, and again impact Alabama um, South Carolina western North Carolina Tennessee Kentucky um, Virginia as well and then that would eventually get that up and eventually dissipate that system there and then we'll also look at the HFSA model here and so um, this will continue and have that strengthening, rapidly strengthen, um, kind of continuing up into tomorrow morning. And then eventually all the, have it all the way as a 928 millibar system Thursday uh, afternoon. And when it eventually make a landfall as a 921 millibar storm. And again, we really don't want this to happen. But I do honestly think that the, uh, the National Hurricane Center will continue to kind of strengthen their forecast a little bit will we see category five uh, a category five storm i'm not too sure about that but i could definitely see a strong category four uh, storm being possible here 
And so that will continue that storm up into, again, Georgia, Alabama, South Carolina, um, Western North Carolina, uh, Tennessee, Kentucky, Virginia there, and deliver some nasty conditions throughout tomorrow and Friday for those areas. And then finally looking at the uh, HF uh, B model, excuse me, and um, again, we'll look at this. So that would again have it continuing up into the Gulf and have a 938 millibar storm tomorrow afternoon on Thursday and continue that up to the north, eventually make a landfall maybe as a 930 millibar storm tomorrow evening um, and then continue again into the Panhandle of Florida, Georgia, um, Tennessee, Western Carolinas, Alabama, Virginia, Kentucky, and would continue that to the north um, there. Now quickly just looking at some of the winds and just mainly the wind impacts but uh, first we'll be looking well mainly we'll be looking at the European model here and so this is winds and not uh, wind gusts but this is just winds and so by early tomorrow morning on Thursday the Florida Keys could already be seeing some impacts maybe 30 um, maybe lower 30 to mid 30 mile per hour winds there early tomorrow morning and that will continue and those winds would still continue to impact parts of the western Florida Peninsula and deliver some um, pretty gusty winds there especially into the Florida Peninsula um, kind of tomorrow afternoon and then tomorrow evening into tomorrow night this system would uh, make a landfall and really deliver some strong winds into the florida panhandle and the big bend area of florida um, winds constant winds not wind gusts but winds up to maybe 50 miles per hour into some of these areas here and then that would continue again to the north and deliver some strong winds into georgia mainly on the eastern side of the system that will have the um area with the strongest winds and that will continue into georgia some strong winds there and even into the coastal areas of south carolina and georgia could be receiving some strong winds from that and that will continue up into um the carolinas as well as tennessee on friday morning some widespread um lower to mid 20 mile per hour uh, winds here expected across parts of the western Carolinas into Georgia even into eastern Tennessee here and then even into Virginia Kentucky some maybe 10 to 15 mile per hour uh, winds there expected and so um, that would continue up to the north and still deliver some strong to uh, to gusty winds up into parts of Kentucky West Virginia maybe Ohio and, and uh, Indiana there from the European um, but now looking, we'll switch and go to wind gust. I should go to wind uh, accumulation here. And so we'll go back to wind gust actually. <laughs> Sorry about that. But uh, looking at wind gust, um, gusty conditions could start early tomorrow morning and even into Key West, maybe some wind gust up to maybe 50 miles per hour in some of these areas. And so again, that would continue and strengthen throughout the day on Thursday and then as that system moves closer to Florida some very strong winds wind gusts up to 70 miles per hour on places of the western Florida Peninsula and then even into the Big Bend of Florida and the Panhandle where the strongest impacts are to be uh, expected maybe 120 mile per hour wind gusts possible from the uh, European here showing up so this will definitely be uh, devastating for these areas um, but some strong wind gusts expected there and then even further inland again those winds would continue throughout the day on uh, Thursday into Friday morning throughout parts of Florida then into Georgia the Carolinas and Tennessee as well as parts of Alabama some strong wind gusts there even into Georgia maybe 80 to 90 mile per hour wind gusts possible there and then farther into uh, the eastern kind of eastern Georgia and western Carolinas uh, Friday morning maybe 50 60 mile per hour wind gusts possible there and then further into the day those wind gusts will spread to the north into parts of West Virginia Virginia and Kentucky 
Um, some strong winds there and that will continue up to the north throughout Friday and gusty conditions really throughout most of these areas um, right here throughout Friday into parts of uh, Saturday morning mainly throughout Friday night into these areas into Saturday morning now just quickly looking at today's um, and tomorrow's severe weather risk and so looking at the tornado risk um, so the 2% is uh, there is a 2% all the way from parts of the southern Appalachians into uh, parts of Georgia, Alabama, and Florida, but mainly into the area into parts of Florida is from her, uh, Hurricane Helene, and so that'll be with today's severe weather threat with that 2% into um, the Florida Peninsula and then into parts of the Florida uh, kind of Florida Panhandle, but mostly the Florida Peninsula and the Florida Keys, and then tomorrow there is an enhanced risk in two parts of South Carolina and Georgia. Around that is a slight risk all the way from South Carolina into Georgia as well as the Florida Peninsula and a large marginal around that all the way from North, Car North Carolina to South Carolina into Georgia and into the Panhandle of Florida and into parts of the uh, mainly the entire um, southern half of the Florida Peninsula there. And so there is a 10% tornado risk uh, with this enhanced risk tomorrow around that is a 5% risk here of tornado and a 2% risk of a tornado around that in that green and again that is a kind of a brownish color in that 5 and a yellow in that 10% risk for tomorrow and for day 3 there is a um, pretty large marginal risk here all the way from parts of eastern Kentucky and into West Virginia, Virginia, North Carolina, and South Carolina. And this will be from another tornado risk on Friday. So that's going to be it for tonight's update. I really do appreciate all of y'all watching. And I know this video was kind of quicker than some of my usual videos, but I've just been trying to uh, kind of change it up and um, make my videos a little shorter so they're not as boring and I just really want to get this information out to y'all as quickly as I could because um, I know it's it's very important to receive this information if you don't uh, have another way to uh, to get it but um, again I I do appreciate all of y'all watching and I will try to make a video before landfall uh, tomorrow but I can't I can't guarantee that um, but again, I will try my best if I can, it would likely be probably just a couple hours before landfall. If not, it will likely be tomorrow uh, night. But, uh, again, I do appreciate all y'all watching and I hope y'all have a great rest of y'all's uh, Wednesday night and, um, stay safe if you live in any of the areas that will be impacted by Hurricane Helene.